Now, it has been established by major health bodies that an unhealthy diet and lack of physical activity are major health risks globally, increasing one's tendency to develop cardiovascular diseases, which are also non-communicable diseases. Some major risks to non-communicable diseases are diabetes and obesity, the rise of which WHO member states are looking to stop by 2025. Integrative medicine is an approach to care that puts the patient at the center and addresses the full range of physical, emotional, mental, social, and spiritual, well, and environmental influences that affect a person's health. I'm in the studio with an integrative medicine, stress, nutrition and personal development consultant. She has an institution devoted to a full life called Healthy Living Services. She employs natural nutritional products to facilitate recovery from even chronic illnesses. Dr. Ifeinwa Wankwesi, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So, I'm curious. Regular, or should we say conventional medicine, we say the same thing, that we deal with the total human being, the physical, the emotional. So how is integrative medicine different? Integrative medicine is actually a science-based approach which combines conventional medicine and other alternative therapies. What they actually do is they focus on the individual regarding the social, total social existence of the individual. They look at the illness from the roots of the matter. They do not just treat um, symptoms and elevate symptoms. They look at the underlying reasons why the person is ill in the first instance. And of course, they also look at the total social existence of the person. Like you said, the spiritual, the mental, the emotional, the physical balance is very and important. Environmental. And of course, the environment, the workload on the person. Okay. Uh, genetic matters, the sex, the age, all those all things, those all those things play. come into Okay, play. I'm going to put you on pause there. I can see you firing on all cylinders. Yes. We'll go for a short break and come and continue. Stay with us. We're going on a really short break and we'll be back after it. Usual or unusual occurrences, opportunities or challenges. From 7,000, then bring 10,000. From 10,000, then bring 13,000. Am I breaking bread? If it matters to you, shoot it and we'll give it a frame on Eyewitness Report. Download the channel's TV app and start uploading your videos or photos. On Eyewitness Report, your story is just a click away. Art from the heart radiates beauty of sound, sights, and emotions. Oh, never mind what the people say. There's beauty everywhere, even in the moves. They make for us a collage of stories you'd love. You call it Art House, and we say it's the proof of the beauty of life. Welcome back. We're talking about integrative medicine. And if you want to ask questions uh, on this topic, the number to call is 0805-468-3025. Let's take that again. 0805-468-3025. Some tweets have been coming in. We still expect more from you. So tweet at CTV underscore Mary A while we continue the topic. There's something I keep, I don't hear in conventional medicine. Um, some people talk about alkalization, cleansing of the body. Is that the same as detoxification? And why don't we hear about it in regular medicine? Um, what, I, what I might have to say here is that the conventional medical practice is not in tune 
with what is happening in the complementary medical world. Okay. All over America and Europe, people are getting to know that lifestyle and the diet is very, very, very instrumental to your well-being. So, for instance, we know that the body is supposed to be composed of 70 to 80 percent water. Okay. But most of us eat very acidic food. Most of our food are cooked food, starches and proteins. We don't get to eat enough vegetables and fruits. So you, you, you are saying we should go more raw? We should go more raw with more vegetables and fruits. And less carbs. And less carbs and, and proteins. Okay. Now what happens is that when you eat mostly starch and proteins, it makes your blood acidic. Okay. In an acidic environment, you do not oxidize food. You ferment it. And that is why there is so much gas all over the place. So much digestive uh, symptoms all over the place. And besides, once you don't oxidize your food for energy, you start getting tired. Some people just after eating, they fall asleep. So eating can also revitalize you, make you energetic? Of course. Energetic. If, you, if you eat the right kinds of food, if you eat mostly vegetables and fruits, your body is going to be in an alkaline state. And if you drink also a lot of water, it alkalizes your cells. But what about hunger? People talk about not getting full on those things. Well, you know, you're not supposed to just drink fruits and vegetables. You're supposed to also make sure you incorporate a balanced meal. Okay. Starches and proteins are very important. But you must not eat so much starch and protein in neglect of fruits and vegetables. It's so, so important. Okay, people also talk about, you know, that uh, I've heard somebody say that your cells are not absorbing your food. What does that mean? And how do you make cells absorb food? Well, you know, as we grow older, we tend to lose the digestive power of our enzymes in our body. That's one thing that is known in aging. So that ability to digest the food you eat is no longer as strong as when you were younger. So it's important that people take, if you are lacking digestive enzymes, you need to take it to be able to digest your food and make sure that your, your cells are getting enough nutrients. You need to take enzymes?